hi friends in this video we are going to see how to check the element activity of DLED or DMA props here we will discuss regarding the standard based on which we will do the uh, testing D DLA and DMA probe main difference uh, equipment setup and finally the report the procedure is followed as per ISO 1856 this standard is used to check the performance after a probe is fabricated mainly used by the manufacturer this uh, standard is also applicable for 1d linear array probes as well as uh, dual matrix probes the acceptance the acceptance criteria for uh, linear probes and uh, 2d probes are given in this standard that we will discuss in the reporting session in detail now we will see the main difference between uh, DLA and DMA. Dual matrix array probes consist of two matrix array probes wired to the same connector with the capacity to perform transmit receive longitudinal sound beams. The one shown here is having a 7x4 matrix in the transmitter and 7x4 matrix in the receiver. DLA is similar to DMA probes. Uh, instead of uh, dual array 2d arrays in dma probes dla is having a linear array the other advantage of dma probe is that the skew angle roof angle skin angle and focusing depth can be programmed in dla probes these parameters are achieved through wedges uh, we can change the uh, beam parameters by adjusting the wedge angle, squint angle and roof angle of the wedges. Now let's make a setup with uh, Omniscan MX2 and uh, we have uh, um, A26 Pro. The first step is to remove the wedge of the probe. Uh, we have to remove the wedges first. We will have two probes. Uh, the first probe from 1 to 32 and the second from uh, 33 to 64 uh, we have to do element check uh, probe uh, uh, separately with these two probes first we have to do with uh, the first probe and keep that on the standard uh, iaw block with a 25 mm thickness now let's make a new setup for that go to files always start with a new setup Otherwise, if we have saved or uh, default setup has been changed, then it, uh, we will not get the desired values. And click the new, and the new setup is getting loaded. Now, go to wizard. Uh, go to wizard, setup, then click start. Then we will start with the new setup. Here, we will modify the uh, uh, default setup will use current uh, group as phase, uh, PA1 mm, connectors PA phase direct connectors we will use the main difference is the applications we have to select corrosion so I have selected corrosion and it is loading <coughs> and click next and here we can see the probe has been auto selected and uh, the wedges i am not using the wedges so it is contact and uh, click next here the uh, one important thing is that the element quantity should be one select one from the quantity and as we are using the first probe it is from 1 to 32 so first element is one and the last element is 32 and element step is one choose one as the element step and click next mm, then click uh, focus focus uh, select unfocused and generate now we will be uh, loading now the default setup for the corrosion mapping is getting loaded we can see the back wall echoes from 25 mm thickness uh, we can see almost four back wall echoes we have two methods to check the performance of the probe one is uh, very fast and doesn't have any report that is the method one we will go through that one first now we will go to the setup 
first we will um, for this one i don't want c scan so i selected a and s scan layout uh, here i can see uh, for backward echoes um, and from the wizard go to calibration and uh, go to sensitivity from sensitivity uh, we have uh, select uh, 50 percentage at the rough as the reference amplitude and uh, select uh, 30 uh, 30 percentage as the tolerance that means um, actually as per the standard plus or minus 3 db is uh, the uh, tolerance so based on that 3 db corresponding to 3 db amplitude drop of 30 percentage we are selecting so our idea is to keep the uh, we need to keep the uh, amplitude of the echo uh, to the uh, to 50 percentage it should it should be within the tolerance of plus or minus uh, 30 percentage so i am getting the first back wall echo about at uh, 119 percentage now i'll go to the gain and will and i'll reduce the uh, first back wall echo uh, to 50 percentage so now I am changing the gain uh, slowly to make the first backward echo at 50 percentage now we can see that entire uh, elements or VPA uh, we can see from first VPA to 32nd VPA uh, the amplitude is coming within the tolerance that means that our probe is working fine so this is the first method and repeat the same process uh, with the, uh, the other probe also from 33 to uh, 64 elements so um, uh, completely 1 to 64 we have checked the uh, performance if it is within the tolerance our probe is working fine now we will go to method 2 which is a step by step very detailed method we already seen how to make the setup after loading the setup then uh, we had a, a four echoes now we will adjust the range to keep the uh, keep a single echo in the screen so that we can clearly monitor that uh, amplitude um, so keep the gate uh, one gate uh, i prefer gate a to be on the first back wall echo other gate interface echo and uh, interface gate and uh, uh, gate uh, b i turned it off and i changed the uh, start to completely accommodate the first back wall echo now i'll go to ut settings and uh, from the ut settings now go to general and uh, click the gain and adjust the gain such that uh, the back wall echo is 80 percentage now the echo is at uh, 80 percentage now if i change the i'm, I'm getting the amplitude uh, in percentage i can see uh, the percentage uh, of each vps which we will record it into the report and uh, we will evaluate based on the standard these amplitudes are to be recorded in the report i have already made an excel file uh, where i have excel file is actually uh, recommended because there are a lot of formulas involved uh, in the standard so from here 1 1 to 32 this is the first uh, first probe this is the first probe and the second probe is 33 to 64 33 to uh, 64 and uh, for each element i will record here the amplitude as we uh, as we just saw uh, we will adjust the vpa to get the amplitude of each uh, element here it is 80.2 for the first one so the for the first one 80.2 similarly i will complete for the rest uh, 32 elements and uh, now i have to do it for the second one 
now i'll change the second probe which is 33 to 64 elements after that i will go through the same setup and only difference is that i have to feed uh, in the pulser 30 uh, the first element is 33 and the last element is 64 now i have completed the inspection uh, all the uh, entries have been done now see i have my first probe from 1 to 32 and the average is uh, given below and for the second one 33 to 64 and the average is given below average of all the uh, amplitudes now for the first uh, here um, i have used a formula to d log first amplitude by the average amplitude so this is the average amplitude this is based on the standard standard we have a formula so in the formula it is given uh, 20 log relative pulse echo sensitivity variation is equal to 20 log uh, 20 log the amplitude divided by the average amplitude and uh, all these values have to be calculated for each element so we will get uh, these these values are in db uh, we are converting the amplitudes into uh, decibels so actually for the linear metrics linear array probes the, uh, the acceptance criteria is plus or minus uh, 3 db so uh, a26 what we are doing is a linear array probe and the uh, and the acceptance criteria is plus or minus 3 db and we are getting all these values within the limit we are getting uh, all these values within the limits so all these elements are active and no elements are out of uh, specifications according to this then we can uh, uh, according to the standard this probe has passed this uh, test and thank you for watching my video and if you have any questions or comments uh, please uh, write it in the comment box so I can uh, I can reply it for you thank you